Team Tech is important because it gives kids a creative outlet to imagine and also to be part of a, a journey, a process. It's not just a case of coming up with a good idea. It's about coming up with a good idea and then following it through. It's not just about studying science or engineering in a classroom, it's studying it in, in, in the real world. Our project is a self-sensor guidance system for wheelchairs to encourage more independence and confidence for the person in the wheelchair. This has been a fabulous opportunity for our pupils. They've learned in so many different ways. It's just given them an experience to come out to the classroom. They've gone and visited different places. They've worked with industry. They've actually been involved with sort of further education. People have come into school. They've learned from one another. It's just a whole new world for them. Just by looking around at some of the projects that I've seen this afternoon, it's fascinating to see where your ideas came from. What are the things that make you think that you can make a difference? Oh, and how much effort we put into this project. No, we've won. Good. Charlie and I'm from Ascot Glanamore in South West Wales. I have more STEM events and that's back my interest in engineering. I'm proud to partner with Broadcom Foundation to bring you 25 talented young students from 16 countries and territories here. Good evening. Good evening. I'm a project I'm from a small village and I never thought I'd achieve anything so big. One of the things that's so important in the Broadcom Masters is that you're learning to communicate your passion, the subtleties of science and engineering in ways that inspire other kids. Broadcom Masters! What we found interesting about the aluminium challenge was that it was another opportunity for us to actually get involved in a STEM project, whether the pupils are working in groups. The actual setup, the information that was provided was nice, clear, concise and, and gave them a starting point. When we were designing the product, we were thinking about not just the shell of the building that has to be like recyclable, but also the flooring and all the other materials like for the door. We wanted to show that it was environmentally friendly and sustainable. So the leaf actually is V-shaped, collecting water which is distributed into, for example, if you've got a small vegetable patch, you could distribute water into there. It certainly raised their awareness in sustainable issues. They learnt an awful lot about aluminium and how it actually fits into global sustainable issues that we're all having to consider at the moment. This was a particular way for them to learn about aluminium and its uses, so I think they'll tell you that they learnt an awful lot. We use aluminium for the roof because we realise that it can be bent in different shapes. Since it doesn't rust, our purpose was so the water can flow down the leaf. We used all our skills together to help create this. What was it like to have a winner? Well, it was, it was brilliant, it was crazy to actually think we'd entered two of the categories and we had first prizes in both the group's entries and a runner-up in the garden building competition. So once you've actually sort of won, how do you follow that, as it were? But um, we'll give it our best, we'll have a go. And I think it's not just about the winning, it's just the pupils get an awful lot out of it, regardless of whether they win the competition or not. You know, it's a, it's a fabulous opportunity for them to actually work, engage in a different situation to being in a traditional classroom. I'm Holly. I'm Laura. I'm Chloe. And these are our designs of buildings for the future. These kids in Swansea have been designing their dream classrooms, but the buildings are a little bit different to what you might see at school. They're made to be as energy efficient and as kind to the environment as possible. So what do they think architects should be thinking about? One, materials. Um, so all of this is recyclable materials. This here is made of the plastic packaging. Less things will go into landfill, so we'll have more space. 
two energy. At the top of the house we have wind turbines to be more energy efficient. It was really important to have solar panels. They take energy from the sun so it doesn't affect any of the environment. Three greenery. We think it will make it kinder by helping the environment if it's more green and it looks nicer. Now they've come to Swansea University where a team are trying to make real classrooms for the future and it seems like the girls have been thinking along the right lines. The classroom is designed to be energy positive. That means it doesn't have to buy electricity. It has solar panels instead. And the whole roof will be covered with these solar panels that you can see here, which will generate electricity from the sun and that will be used to power the building. Oh, yeah. 